What's up guys? Welcome back to Vampire. Um, so last time we killed the sewer werewolf thing. Took care of that. And we got the note. So, now we have to go to Whitechapel. I don't know where Whitechapel is. So, to Whitechapel, wherever that may be. Hacksaw does a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, so I have my stake and I have my hacksaw. <laughs> I'm ready. Can I go? No, I can't go down. Alright, this is the hospital. Get over here now. So I go. Who who are you? Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Yes. Kukorn, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Yes, obviously. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Okay, well, at least he wasn't important. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. Yeah, when you're no longer of use, as soon as the then we'll talk. Is eradicated, I will resign. I know they still need you. Okay, goodbye. goodbye. I need to go to Whitechapel. Which be this way. <coughs> God. Okie dokie. Whitechapel Street. Up. Oh. Hi. Ah, get off me. <laughs> you suck. Okay. <clears throat> Go this way. What is this? This is one curfew. Official health warning. Okay. Boy. Ow, ow, ow. Jeez, you do a lot of damage. Why can I not hit you? So we gotta go this way. Run through the streets. Not going that way. Nope. Not gonna happen. Not today. Uh, dang it.
Nope. The door is locked, so I can't go that way. Can I go up anywhere? No, apparently not. This stuff. Break, break, break. How many of them are there? Oh, 
Of course I don't. Blood. 
Bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Okay. Goodbye, young man. You heard the man. Wet boots would be proud of me. Saw a bloody job to you, eh? Stupid trucks for the sick and suffering. Benjamin? What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. I mean, I could kill you. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye for now. All right, we gotta go find Darius. Darius, Darius. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, sir. Loretta. I'm interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic. Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh. Really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure Bruh. to meet a fellow healer. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Yes. I need to stop talking to everyone on the way there and just go find this dude. Oh, this way. In here. Knock, knock, knock. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical report says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else. Oh my god, just let me in the door. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. He's got bronchitis. That way. Just that way. Just that way. Watching, 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 watching. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. <laughs> Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. 
bronchitis. <clears throat> I cannot enter. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. But they must know Near something. Near by the church they just mentioned. Okay, this way. Here we go. Joe, uh, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game you pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on, we can sort Yeah, well, I'll right. let that crime just go. I, I don't care enough about it. Unable to see the true horror around you. The hell Forget are you? Do not apologize, my son. <laughs> I'm not your son. He's always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. And I'm immortal. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. I've had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Need to go. Where do we need to go? Can I go in the church? No. I cannot go in the church. Behind the church. Okay. No, I don't have time for this. I don't have time. Shenanigans. Disappointed you. Nope, 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 nope. Avoid it. Total cost. No? Do I have to fight them? Because I can't get into the cemetery. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy.
it's not the one I wanted. Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on, in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Is there any okay. pain and suffering in this world? I don't care who you are, Peterson. Honestly, I just need your bed. So, thanks, you loser. Oh, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Yes, I am. Great. Alright, I came in the wrong place. But I'm gonna. Is there pills and suffering cigarettes. I don't care. Nope. Bloody handprint. Basically, the active ones are more expensive. Okay. Up. Graded. Confirm. Let's continue, shall we? Bronchitis. 
So sepsis, anemia, fatigue, cold, bronchitis, pneumonia. Wrong door, I gotta go like this one. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. No, Another journalist. I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Can I... Should I? No, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do it. Nope. Okay. Let's go this way. This one's mine. More blood. Bye. No. no, 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 no. I don't want it. No. I can't get down.
drink its blood. Drink its blood. Right. 
dead body? Yeah, whatever. I know I'm in my chapel. I never left. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Tone, and then I'm gonna end the video. Alright, is this, this, this way? Oh. No. He's down here. Oh, no. Wait, who are you? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar Clayton. with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. Yes. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious. Never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. And he got bronchitis. <laughs> he never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself so or he's clearing so he's a mad man. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Okay. Thank you, Clayton. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. You... are very helpful. Okay. So, now, we go here. Take care of these dum dums. You big dum dums. Every time. Jonathan! Okay, 
now I can go in. So I did have to. Yes, hello, crazy man. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Oh my God. Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Okay. That... So I need I'll to leave you alone, sir. Okay, you go back to reading your poetry in the cemetery. Fucking weirdo. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> it was fun. So now. I gotta find a mailbox and a letter, apparently. So. That'll be next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.